out here motivating people, man. I heard your uh I heard your track, man. You used that uh that DMX. Oh yeah, yeah. You my, remixed that DMX. My reality. My yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah. That shit hard, man. What well, how you come up with that whole concept, bro? I mean, you know, DMX, he affected a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And um at the time growing up, you know, seeing my dad, you know, he used to play that that X, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I I can relate to a lot of things okay. that X, you know, went through as far as being in the streets and you know. Yeah. So I related to it. You okay. Know what I mean? So Yeah, so you just told put my own little twist on it, you know what I I'm saying? I dig it, and I dig it. Then the challenge just popped out of nowhere. That's crazy. Yeah. That yeah. took it to it that took, took it to, it to a whole level. nother level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you make that song before he had passed? Or like, did, yeah, did him passed. pass and inspire you to make yeah, that song? Yeah, him, him pass and inspire me. Okay, because yeah. you say your daddy was, was fucking with him and shit. You yeah, know, yeah, you know, kid. Street, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard in the song you was like uh, telling on a nigga that became the new trend. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a powerful line, bro. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I, I, I feel that line. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that line because I've been through cases. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I had Cody Fenders. You know, we all stay solid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and we took it to the dope. Every case I, I record, I took it to the dope, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I can't really respect the whole telling thing, but it seemed like that's the new way now. It seemed like that's what's going on, man. Yeah, what you, yeah. Why you feel like that shit? I don't know, man. I got my own su suspicions on where it started at. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they glorified that shit, man. They were glorifying niggas like Nicky Bonds and niggas like, uh, what's the paid and for, nigga? Um... Uh, Alpo. Alpo. Like, they were glorifying them niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like that had a lot to do with niggas being like, well, shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you always had rats all the time, you know. I know they, it. They I, always been around. It's a bunch of these niggas. Now. It's like. They've been a bunch. It's just that just, they out the closet now. Mm, you get uh, what I'm saying? I never looked at it like yeah, that. Yeah, they just out the closet. They've been, they been around. They've been going on forever. You know what I'm saying? I at never the end of the day, Judas like was a rat. He Who told it? Judas, he told oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're so right. it's been going on for two, <laughs> forever, you know Damn, the devil is He turned Jesus into yeah. a couple coins, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Damn, I never thought about so that. So the first Damn. rat to be actually growing fried was Judas. Judas. Hey, boy, this is an educated young nigga right here. <laughs> hey, he just put me in, he put a little <laughs> more films on some shit. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. So they've been glorified. Since, since, then, since then, in the Bible. Right. It's in the book. It's yeah. in the book. So it That's crazy. It ain't new nothing. So uh, you originally from Miami and shit. Yes, sir. What part, what part of Miami you from? From Liberty City. Liberty City. Yeah, I'm from the city. We done heard about the man. We done heard so much about that shit, yeah, man. City, you know. Man. Yeah. But how that shit really is, because you know we see movies and we see music videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? What that what that shit really like, man? Yeah, Liberty City, man. Liberty City is 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 what it is, man. Like that's the mm -hmm. hood. That's yeah. the street. Yeah. That's the that's, real street. That's, the, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's the real it, shit. Is it pumped up? How they? Is it yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Really so it's really going out. What's yeah. crazy ass shit you seen around that motherfucker, man? Just Liberty like City. niggas won't believe it, like. Uh, like I give you an example, like for me, I go down to the uh, Florida. I done been down there a couple of times. You know what I'm saying, nigga? The cars, nigga. You, it's this be some shit. Like it might just be normal, y'all. Yeah, see, see a lot it of so things much. to to me is normal. So when you say what's some crazy shit I done seen, I done seen just about everything. Yeah. But the realest shit I ever seen was when um, you know what I'm saying? Me bringing Fifty Cent back. You know he coming to Miami and taking all my niggas out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Took everybody. Took all your whole, whole team. Out, my whole team out to dinner. You know what I'm saying? That was like some historical shit in the hood. Boy, them niggas ain't gonna never forget never that. Forget they gonna say, nigga, that nigga brought 50 yeah. to the hood. Yeah. Nigga, look, they gonna be like, yeah, he yeah. brought 50 so to that, the hood. That, that was like something historical. Yeah. Damn, you that's crazy saying? right now. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So they, they say you uh you living in uh in Atlanta now. Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. That's Atlanta. where you at now? Yes, sir. That's where it's at right there, ain't yeah, it? Yeah. There's always something to do down there yeah, in Atlanta, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, how you liking that shit, man? What's the difference man, I, down there? I mean, if it weren't for Atlanta, I wouldn't be here right now. Because mm -hmm. the simple fact of I was able to plug in Atlanta. To get mm -hmm. to the point where I'm at now, you know okay. what I'm saying? To get to this stage, you feel what me? What kind of moves you was making down there? You just, you know what I'm saying? You I just mean, like fuck it, I'm finna move to LA. Yeah, cause I had, I had, I did everything you could do in my, mm -hmm. to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You went as far as you, you can take yeah, it. Yeah, as far as I can take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I just felt like, like uh, what's the movie? Uh, American Gangster. Bam. Okay. It's like I gotta go get, go, go to the jungle to get the plug. But I see everybody getting on in Atlanta. That's what. That's where it must be going down at. That's where it's at. You yeah. get me? So yeah. I went on to the jungle. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or oh, you can stay in Miami and keep putting the money in the job. This and it. ain't getting nowhere. I did that. that was, it seemed like that was a smart move, man. So you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, mm -hmm. 
So uh, they they said you were signed with Slip and Slide at first though. What that? No, I wasn't actually signed. We just had like a little joint venture that I was doing. You okay, know. but you were linked in with yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Slip and Slide showed me a lot of love. Ted Lewis, them over there. Okay. I learned a lot from them. You know what I'm saying? That okay. was a learning experience. So you got to so you got to meet like uh Trick Dad and Trina and well, all that shit. I always kind of knew Trick. Okay. I, you know I used to be a bump head. He Trina. always talk about Liberty City though. He be talking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he he from down south, but you know. Poking Bean Projects or something. Yeah, my always. grandma stayed in the Poking Bean Projects. Okay, see, so I know a little something now. I don't know yeah, yeah, you know. I've yeah, been yeah, listening yeah. to this shit, trick, man. Trick, trick from all the, the southern part of mine. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, but, um, I'm from Liberty City. Trina mm-hmm. from Liberty City. You okay. Know what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah. All right. The baddest, the baddest yeah, nigga yeah, of yeah, all yeah, time. Yeah. She, she been holding it down. Mm-hmm. Give us, give us some, uh, you ain't never mess with Plies or nothing like that? Nah, I never met Plies. I never okay. Met Plies. I met Trainer, I met Trick. Yeah, cause we rock with Plies down here too, man. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he had a big movement going on when he first, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, Plies popped off. Yeah, he did his thing. Yeah, so you ain't got no memories with them folks and then like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, something that the fans don't know, like some shit that just was epic one day or something, you were kicking it with them folks. Uh, me and Trick, uh, we did a show a couple years ago in Jacksonville. Me and okay, Trick, so you did get it. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right we, did it, we did a show back, back, back in Jacksonville. And um, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, he yeah. still got it. He yeah. still, yeah. Yeah, he still doing his thing. You know. What yeah. I mean? yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I heard your manager plugged you up with Fifty. Yeah. You feel me? Is that how that went down? Yeah. Big Mike. Shout, Shout out to Big Mike, man. Big Mike BML, man. Yeah. Um, one of my old my OGs from Miami. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plugged me to Big Mike when mm-hmm. I moved to Atlanta. Okay. And um, Big Mike, he took me to New York. Fit. So that's how that that's how that that's went. That's how that went. So you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I tell a lot of people when it comes down to this music thing, it's about relationships a lot of times. So you it's like what, what you what who you what they say is is not who you is not not what, what you know, know is who, who you know. know. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. That's so, crazy. You know. But it's you still had to have music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still gotta present. Your shit song. gotta be good. Yeah, though. it gotta be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a nice flow, man. Niggas actually been comparing you to some on some pop smoke shit, bro. They been like, man, you finna take out where pop smoke left off it. Man, shout out to pop, man. You know we was kicking in the Super Bowl weekend before he died, man. Damn, man. And like two weeks later, he ended up passing away. What, what type of nigga he was? Pop was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? When I when I met him, he was cool, man. He was just on the rise. You get what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. Pop kind of pop heavier. He was already popping in New York mm-hmm. before he, you know the South. Okay. So I kind of heard his music before. Yeah, before it came down yeah. this way. But you know, at the time, he he kind of popped more down the South after he kind of died. You get what I'm mm. saying? Mm. But he was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I first met him in the Super Bowl weekend, Fifty let him open up a couple shows because the South wasn't really familiar with him yet. Like, man, you get what I'm saying? Trying to get his name, get out his name out there. And mm-hmm. um, man, it's just crazy that. You know, he had so much potential. Damn. And you know, yeah. he got took from us so soon. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It happened, man. Uh, young young Dolph just got killed. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. That 400 dude in Cali. Yeah. He got killed. And you know what I'm Draco saying? Draco died yesterday. Draco just got stabbed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's getting hard out here to be a rapper, man. This shit harder than the streets almost. Like, you feel me? Niggas yeah. dying quicker in the rap game than they dying in the streets. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you yeah. feel about what's going on? You ever get nervous about this shit? Are I you mean, nervous? I had my situations on the road doing yeah. shows, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, from fights to shootouts to all kind of stuff. I mean, it's like this here. You putting out that kind of energy, so you, it's just like combo. Mm-hmm. The tongue is very powerful. Yeah. So that's why on this album, I'm not really focusing on that aspect. I'm talking more about the struggle. Mm-hmm. Pain, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and 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 how to come up. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. And, and, and my album is based on solving the problem. We all know the problems, mm-hmm. but what rapper talking about how we how we solve this? Yeah, you own the You get what I'm saying. Yeah, you own We know the, the problem. We know what's going on. We from the hood. We we know most of the killings is revenge killings. Ain't none of this be new stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, he stepped is on my shoes. Is over some money or some? It's re- a revenge. revenge. Most of it's revenge. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's like, when are we gonna come to the day where we gonna say, hey, let's put this behind us and move forward? Which yeah. is hard when somebody's brother got killed, a cousin got killed. So it'd be a lot of a lot of it's generational wars. A lot of people, it's it's just like going back in, in, in Roman times. A lot of it's generation. Mm-hmm. He killed my uncle. Yeah. He shot my cousin. So it's gonna really whoever the strongest person first to to let that shit go. Right. 
That's how it going. That's the only way it going to end. Yeah. Somebody got to let go. Yeah, that seems like it's hard to do for these young chicks. <laughs> it's hard to crazy. do because of social media. Yeah. Yeah, how you think that done affected this shit? That social media shit, but hey. Social media is affected a lot because at the end of the day, it's like a lot of these cats, they dry snitch on they self. They get on there and they mm -hmm. tell everything. You're right. Mm -hmm. This is what I don't understand. I want you to explain this to me, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this to the viewers, right? And other rappers out there. Mm -hmm. A nigga will lie to his mama. Mm -hmm. A nigga will lie to his sister, <laughs> his cousin. Yeah. He will lie to his kids. Basically, nigga be lying, been lying all his life, right? <coughs> you ain't lying. <coughs> and then a nigga jump right up on the platform and decide to tell the, the motherfucking truth. truth. Yeah. Dang. Nigga, you been lying your whole life to my, everybody around. Might well keep it going, man. You yeah. get on a camera and decide I'm going to tell the truth today. Damn, that's crazy. Hey, that's the most retarded, well, I ain't going to say retarded. That's the most backward shit I ever heard in my life. Yeah, you right. Yeah. Nigga claim every set, every gang in the world when they get on camera, but been lying to everybody his right. whole life. You right. Mm. How backwards is that? Think about that. Damn, I ain't never thought about that, fam. Yeah. That's some real shit, though, right? Hey, I like this nigga, man. <laughs> hey, this nigga educated, man. Hey, this nigga. I mean, it's common sense, though. Yeah. We was always taught if you a street cat, right? Yeah. yeah. You never tell the truth. Yeah, of course. Yeah. How right. old you is? What's right. your name? So yeah. why would I wait till the camera's on me to decide to tell the truth? Yeah. When the whole world look. I don't know what they feel. Let for me that. tell y'all yeah. something right now. I am not a street nigga. I am a rapper. There you go. No, I rap. Is it? Street shit, we don't discreet shit. Mm -hmm. If you ain't accomplished what you gonna accomplish in the streets by now, it's over with. It's over you with. Might dog. Work it, bro. Yeah, it's you need to relax. Yeah, it ain't for you. Yeah. You right. You right. You're right, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> and on that note, this is a perfect time to shout out our sponsors. Okay. The Chattanooga Selfie Museum. Can I get you to say that with me? Chattanooga the Chattanooga Selfie, Selfie Museum. Museum. There we go. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, how you heard about Chattanooga, man? You know what I'm saying? What brought you? What, you know? I mean, um, management, my team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before they had you ever heard of Chattanooga? I see it on the Expressway in Atlanta. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's we we fighting to try to get in this game, man. You know, what I'm saying? we we bring something to the table too, right. man. It's the chitlin circuit. You feel okay. me? Like this is where a lot of niggas come before they blow up. You right. feel me? But now we actually right here able to talk to a nigga. Look, nigga, when you blow up, nigga, don't forget about us, man. man you feel me? Like I'm right, finna introduce you to my city. You know what I'm saying? I, I like they they, they finna turn up on you. Feel me? When you get the way you're going. I know some ran right. with Chattanooga, nigga, and one of them songs, you feel me? Like, throw that shit in there. Okay. Give us a little shine, you feel yeah. me? They help niggas from this motherfucker do their thing. You feel me? Oh, like, boy, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what we be, we be down here struggling, nigga, trying, like, damn, nigga, just say Chattanooga. Y'all got, 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 got to book niggas come through. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. If it, you book them to come through, you. Okay, I'm glad I can have this conversation with an artist. This okay. is good, this is good right here. This is mm. the thing, bro. This a this a predominant this a white town. Mm -hmm. All this shit owned by white people. You feel me? You know these niggas can't act, bro. Every time we book some shit, you know what I'm saying? The shit go down, and you know niggas get shot and all that old shit. You know how the shit be going. Right. And that shit happened a couple of times. They shutting it down. They ain't letting niggas use the spot like that. Mm -hmm. And then we do got a couple of spots though. You know that that a book a nigga, but it ain't just wide open like if you go to Nashville or if you right. go to. So it make it hard for niggas to want to come through here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because the big thing you is it. You see what I'm saying? Right. And it, it, cost, it costs a lot. Then you know y'all charge, and it's like hard for a nigga to get his money back. You right. know what I'm saying? Okay. So and then, but, but so my, what you what you think they need to? What you think your city need to do? They need to. What back. you doing right? You this this is history right here. You the first nigga, bro, to come from out of town to come to Chattanooga to do this podcast. You feel me? To do this shit. Okay. Well, you the very first one. Well, I'm kicking the door in then. You feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? When they see you, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they'll come on in. You All feel right. me? They can see the benefits. Man, y'all need to come through Chattanooga, man. They live over here, man. It's a dope spot. Yeah, straight, yeah, straight like that, spot, man. man. Straight like that. So, uh, what's what's up with you and 50, man? What y'all, you know? You know what I'm yeah, saying? What y'all what y'all, got going now, man? I, you know, he killing the game with the, yeah, 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 the yeah. TV game yeah, right the TV now. You fucking them up. Hell yeah, yeah, he killing that shit. You ain't getting no role in the, in the BML? I got to take me some acting courses, man. Oh, and I've been working, okay. nah, the truth is, I've been working on this album, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master, none. I want to master 
my music your first. Music. The same way he did. You get I what I'm saying? He had the did, music did. first. I did. And did. then everything else fell in line. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I wanna master it and then the, the thing about it too is when I act, I wanna act for real. So I mm -hmm. wanna get an acting coach. I wanna go yeah, take, take a few courses, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nigga might have to gain ten pounds. I lose yeah, yeah. twenty pounds. Yeah. yeah, so you know I wanna take it seriously like I take my music. You see what I'm saying? I don't wanna just jump out there and be, you know, and they like, yeah, that nigga can't, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I got you, I so got you. I wanna you do, do it for real. For real. Right, right, I right. got you, I got you. And nigga Meech did a good job on that shit. Yeah, yeah. That nigga did a real good job. Yeah, Meech did a dope job, man. Yeah, that nigga look like he been acting, acting yeah, but since he, day he, one. He moved out to LA for two years. Oh yeah? Yeah, 50 moved him out there to LA to take acting courses. Bam. Okay, so I got you. you. So you peeping the game. Yeah, okay, I got yeah, you. Got it. Yeah. I got you on that, man. So your uh they say your album dropping on uh on December the 27th. 27, man. The 27th. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Time. Why that day? Um my dad, that's my dad's birthday. Okay. And uh, R.P. Big Gator, he passed away last year from cancer. Okay. In November, damn. so I right. I want to drop the album on his birthday. Man, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. You know man. what I'm saying? You don't get but one day to man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a special day. I dig that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How was how was your pops as a uh, young nigga? Was he was he a pops that was around? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Was he? He the reason you calling me a smart nigga, right? Okay. All right. That's me? what's up. That's a good thing he left in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. So yeah. he educated you pretty exactly. much. I soaked it all up. Ain't nothing wrong with yeah. that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you gonna call that motherfucker, man? Man, it's called Heart of a Hustler Reload. Heart of a Hustler Reloaded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, 50 dedicated the second chapter in his book. It's called Heart of a Hustler to the album. To the album. So it's a little shout out. Okay. Yeah. Dang, 50 dedicated the chapter in this book to that. Second, that's yeah, second chapter. The in second book chapter in the book. But uh, you got your own clothing line in there, Yeah, thing. man, called Bada, man. Bada. Yeah, it's a luxury brand. I'm start, I started, man. Luxury Bada. brand. Hell, it stands for Born Alone, Die Alone. Born Alone, Die Alone. Why you, you, that's, why you chose that? That's just something that I always, that's, that's, that's real shit. That's though. the truth. Yeah. You gonna be born yeah. by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Some people born with twins. Yeah, but one had, you know, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to mess with you, man. Yeah, Look, I'm yeah. just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. But yeah, why? The, I mean, uh, so bottom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Born alone, die alone. Yeah, I'm dealing with um high end materials like suede. You know what I'm saying? Alligator skin. Okay. Like it's high end. You get what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah, That's what's up, man. Different fabrics, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like to play with the textures, the fabrics. You okay, I dig so, that. I yeah, dig that. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I dig that. You seem like a little smooth ass nigga, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. You got down, you know, I'm watching your move and shit. Yeah, you feel man. me? You gotta get, we got to bring the players back to the game, man. Man, I feel you, bro. Yeah, yeah. That shit done yeah, changed. We got to bring the players yeah. back to the game, man. Yeah. We got enough killers and shooters and this all niggas that. Killing these niggas killing. These niggas, yeah. We got to bring the players yeah. back to the game, man. Yeah, I dig that, yeah. man. I dig that. So what kind of what kind of brand would you say it is besides a luxury brand? Like, uh, is it who you targeting? You know what I'm saying with the brand get like money, man. You gotta be getting money to wear that. Damn, so it don't matter if you white, black, nah, Mexican, it don't none matter. of that. Nah, yeah, nah, because everybody yeah. like fly stuff. You yeah. feel me? But this, what I'm saying is, if 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 if, if you ain't fly, mm -hmm. then this ain't for you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If you like to dress down, this ain't for you. Mm -hmm. This for cats that that want to look like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We like taking money. it back yeah. to that. Yeah. We, I did, we, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to bring that back to the game. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, 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 I dig that, man. I dig yeah. that. But yeah, man, is anything else you wanna uh, let the people know? I know you, uh, y'all got shit to do, y'all on the road and shit, man. I don't wanna hold y'all up, but yeah. you know. No, the main thing I want them to do, is, man, is go get that album on the 27, man. It's special. Okay. You get what I'm saying? All right, what it's gonna be on that? all platforms. Right. Apple Music, Spotify, it's gonna be on all platforms. Okay. And I got DC Young Fly hosting it. Oh. DC, yeah, DC ain't never hosted no album before with the Ocean Mind. Oh, man. You get what I'm saying? That's so I got DC right Young Fly hosting it, so. It, it's it, it's something different. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. The game up, saying that everybody saying I want something different. I want something different. Yeah. Okay, you finna get something different, but the truth, the thing is, can you accept different when it comes? Is it? I did. You that. get what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole rap industry saying I'm tired of hearing the same thing. Everybody rapping the same cadence. Yeah. Okay. Now when I get this to you, now can you accept it? I feel. You. I feel. You. Cause it don't sound like. Everybody yeah. else. But we excited about that shit, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have the whole Chattanooga tapped in on it. You feel yes, what I'm sir. saying? So we're gonna I push that. Definitely, Hopefully definitely. we can link you up with some folks, man. You can get some shows done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm gonna try to link you in with the, the folks at The Signal. You okay. feel me? That's where they do a lot of... Uh, yeah. Isaiah Rashad just came home and did his show. You know That's what I'm cool. saying? Uh, I'm working, man. Bum B, everybody. This is where they come do that. And I'm, I'm gonna let all the local artists know too, man. When I'm, when I'm in town, man, mm -hmm. I do features, man. So what's if up. I'm swinging through, 
Y'all catch me while I'm here, man. I'll drop something for you. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what we definitely sure. gonna plug that up, man. We definitely I got I got two last things I got to answer though, bro. You got to give me something exclusive, man. Give me a give me a story with you and 50 Cent, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> some you know what I'm saying? Besides, I know you said he took you and your, uh, your boys out. What's some shit, you know, some epic ass shit, you know? Oh, there's some epic shit. Okay, we go to the we go to fight at the Barclays. Okay. Uh, Deontay Wilder. Okay. Um, um Tank Davis is on the undercard. Okay, night. Tank Davis. Yeah. And uh one of my partners called from from Chain Gang for prison. Okay. He been down. Shout out to Big Key, man. He, he been down for 23 years. Dang. You know what I'm saying? He got two life sentences. Mm. So he FaceTimed. Mm -hmm. 50 jumped on the FaceTime, man. The whole prison ran to the crazy. <laughs> oh, went crazy, man. man. Oh, and man. That, <laughs> he, would get free, he would get free trade for like a month and a half. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you turned him up. Yeah, you I turned him up. We turned him up. Yeah, that's what's yeah, up, yeah, man. Yeah. See, 50, 50 yeah, a real nigga. Yeah, he a real nigga. He, he jumped know, on the He FaceTime. know shit like that. Yeah. He was talking to the niggas. No, yeah, that's real, man. That's that real, real, man. Yeah, that's that real, man. Real. All right, man. So yeah, let them know where they can uh, reach at, man. Your IG and your information and stuff. Okay, yeah, y'all can tap in with me at Bud Real One Hundred on Instagram, Maserati Bud on Facebook, Maserati Bud on YouTube, G Unit Bud on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Y'all gonna tap in with me, man. On my side. Hey, y'all make sure y'all tap in with a man for them verses for everything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get at him. Yeah. But um, on this on this show, man, I always like to leave on a positive note. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I believe that our words are powerful, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and the uh, powers in our tongue, we speak things into existence. Right. You feel me? So, for the next five years of Maserati Bud life, what do you want to speak into existence on your life? Man, I want to just change the mindset of, 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 of the brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I just want to, I want to change, change, change the game. You feel me? I, I'm coming in this game, not just the rap. I'm coming in this game to change the thing, like change the way people think, like how when I was saying about the snitch thing and the mm -hmm. Judas thing. Yeah. You feel me? Just open up people's minds, because a lot of it is just common sense. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of things we overlook, what we think is bigger than it really is, when it really is, if you just take a look at it through another perspective, you'll see like, damn, this shit, like you said, it's real, what he's saying. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to do. I want to change the way a lot of people think, man, a lot of uh, the way we, 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 we approaching things. You get what I'm saying? I dig. As a culture, you get what I'm saying? I dig. So that's my whole thing, to just change change the game. So that's your goal for the next five years? Yeah, yeah, that's man. what's up, man. That's a, yeah. that's a big goal. That's yeah. a good goal, man. Yeah, man. Man, you seem, this nigga seem like your old flat earth nigga or something, man. I don't know, man. You seem like you're on the flat earth. Oh, what, what that is? The, the, uh, they saying we in the dome, the flat earth. You know what I'm saying? The earth flat, not round. Oh, that, that I do Yeah, I you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I, I ain't, I, I ain't really into that. <laughs> I'm a, listen, man, let me, let me tell you. Yeah. I don't be having time to worry about the earth if it's flat or not. Because yeah. there's too many niggas getting killed in the hood. Like, we got to start worrying about what's, what's going on outside, yeah. not... Yeah. What's going on all over there? What yeah. they trying can't to can't do nothing about this shit. Right. They, yeah. they they just trying to throw you off, telling you about it, so you won't see what the real what's really going on. That's it. You worry about the flat earth when your cousin just got shot up last week. I ain't got time to worry about that. I gotta save some lives and, and, and help some people, man. I, I ain't got time, my community. I, I can't did. worry about the flat earth. So that's how I be looking at that. That's real. That's yeah, real. That's nah, that's real. That's how I be that's, But the facts are, hey, yeah, this the yeah. chilling circuit, man. I'm telling yes, you, this sir. where the shit started, man. You feel yeah. me? Right here, man. And we appreciate a real nigga coming through, man. For sure, for sure. You feel me? All day. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going to let y'all get on, man. Hey, Maserati Bud, man. Little more films. The chilling circuit. Y'all tap in, tap in. Boom. We out, man. Yes, sir. Little more films. It's your boy, Project Pata. Lil' Mo Films, you watching the Chitlin' Circuit, y'all know what it is.